welcome to cartoon projects and right over there do you guys see this green light i was like this game is glitching out but if i do go underneath we have got some neon lights check this out that is so freaking cool oh so i don't know what i just did oh we put like our headlights on but anyway that is so freaking awesome so yes today what we're gonna do is we are gonna do a twin turbo swap on this car i'm pretty excited for it we're gonna be placing on a big intercooler i think this is gonna be freaking amazing so also i was supposed to upload this last week sunday i just never got to it this game had a major bug where the front suspension actually bombed out looking at it it looks like it's going inwards i don't know if they have fixed it properly i know sometimes when i like lift it up okay, that makes sense but if i take it down will it flatten out no it doesn't so i think what i'm also going to do this video is i'm going to do the entire suspension i'm going to see if i can get us like bigger brake discs and brake calibers and all of these things must say i love these rear wheels uh, because they're just so freaking huge so anyway all right let's get started i think we're gonna have to take off the bonnet first all right and you know what we're gonna do we're just gonna go big we're gonna like remove the headlights we're gonna remove the bumpers splitters and everything sorry that is actually pretty loud i think i want to take it a little bit down and on my audio headset all right I'm gonna take this um <clears throat> can we can we take this crash bar off front reinforced panel remove other stuff okay just what like what should we remove game um anything there that we can remove maybe the radiator and then okay okay there we go now she's open so this is going to give us some more time well not more time just some more space to work with the car um uh, okay so i think what we're going to do now is we got to go to the car dealership we're going to go to engine and boost chargers boom baby okay so now we have got a few to choose from so this turbo over here is only for the wag which i think they mean vag and in the abb engine while well, the model okay but anyway i'm no expert at this so we're gonna quickly go to compare these two turbos so this one over here is 5.4 kgs but a max pressure is 2.2 bar and it pushes 2300 to 7300 rpms so this is the most crucial thing how much bar because that's what we're looking at this one over here is 2.6 bar yes it boosts later but it also holds longer and it's actually lighter as well this is 5.3 this is 5.4 okay so this already said that we're gonna get this one over here maybe i should go with hmm blue okay we're gonna get another one over here also blue okay so now that we have that i think what we also gotta do let's just see this is the cranks oh piston rods okay we don't actually need anything over here um BAW, yeah everything there is fine timing system i don't think we need to replace anything here i mean we probably can do like an engine overall or something where we like completely change the internals of the engines just, just to make it 100 percent but i think we don't really have to i think we're gonna have to buy a control ecu for it i don't think we need anything over here let's continue going cooling system oh here we go we're gonna need an intercooler so this one is 1k one kilogram no freaking way 0 0.8 so i think i like this one more just because it says sports i think we're gonna go oh we can change the color as well okay i think for this one can we is there a red Ooh, what should i do i would have liked black more but i don't want to go red it's just gonna fit into the car too much we're just gonna keep it like that this is a radiator maybe we should Ah, uh, we don't have to spend money on the radiator, so let's quickly have a look. Fuel system, air inlet, we're gonna have to get some cone filter, we're gonna get two of them. I think we're just gonna go with the normal red color. Oh, we just kind of like the engine though. Alright, so here's a lot of boost pipes. I don't know if this stuff is active yet where we have to build our own piping system. I will give it a try and see how it goes. We got a few BAW, we got a few things over here. Okay, so this is a normal intake manifold uh normal intake manifold and then obviously the throttle body yeah i don't think we need anything else here okay, so that was the braking system okay so there's that we're gonna drive try the drive train over here so let's see <clears throat> we're gonna have to get ourselves a rear diff because i've noticed this car for some reason doesn't have a rear diff 
So this is the inline six V6 or V8, 27 kilograms. 3.11 equals to one. So I, I'm probably not on. Well, I can't remember. I think it's something to do with it. Like this shaft over here, if it turns once. It turns these over here 3.11 times. So I think the higher this number is, uh, I, I might be completely wrong, guys. So don't, don't take my word for this. Go do your own research. But I remember something like this. So if this is 3.11, the higher it is, it means there's more for topping. The smaller it is, the more it's for, uh, well, what do you call it? Quarter miles. The so 3.11. Oh, so this is a limited slip. I see all of them are. Uh, what do you call it that so this is a locked type okay I i'm not so happy because this is a limited slip 20 percent oh my gosh okay so this is like an opener open is just like the normal one a locked is where both wheels are locked uh i think we're gonna go for a limited slip let's see how we can even change the color Ooh, that looks pretty good but i think we're just gonna go with the normal black over here i see we do have got different gearboxes um, I don't think we have to replace any of this now. We're probably gonna need this one over here Okay, maybe if the prop shaft doesn't fit we can get like a different gearbox Oh, here we go. Here we can see here's a 3.45 to 1 ratio So usually your diff and your gearbox must have the same ratio uh, So yeah, this ratio isn't right See over here 3.94 okay, so I'm gonna have to do some more research on the gearbox but I think if we do struggle, uh, we can always just come back here if we struggle with the prop shot. What is this? WIG, WIG. So this is technically just to make it uh, front wheel drive, front wheel drive. And I think the next one over here is all wheel drive. Oh, there we go. Type all wheel drive, all wheel, front wheel drive, and front wheel drive. Okay, so anyway, we're going to leave that for now. We're going to go to the exhaust system. I don't think we're going to do anything here as yet. I think, I don't know if we have to make our own exhaust system. I'm not sure. We're probably going to have to get ourselves some other intake manifold. So this is for our car. And they're also street tunes. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get ourselves some of them. And miscellaneous, we don't need anything right there now. So let's quickly go. We're going to order all of these things. We're going to close it up. Close it. Go back, back, back. All right, so let's dig into it. So we're gonna first have to take off this old manifold, rusted and look like it was cracked as well. And um, we're gonna take this one off as well. Perfecto. We're gonna quickly just scroll all the way down. So, oh, these ones, they were fine. Oh my gosh, we just literally bought two of the ex exact same uh, manifolds. We're gonna mount this one over here. And then this one over there i think what we're gonna do is let's just sell these two get them out of the way yes okay so here goes the turbos mount okay glad to see they're gonna fit oh look at that look at that that looks so freaking cool okay then we're gonna go why i took it blue i've got no freaking idea we're gonna go put the air filters on okay it's kind of going through the the what do you call it the sub assembly is it the sub assembly like the Suspension, the cross member, and all of those things. So we've got our cone filters on. I think let's just see quickly tuning if we can tune it. You know we can't, but can we tune the turbo like now? There we go. 2.6 bar on the left hand side. 2.6 bar on the right hand side. So we're gonna boost this baby over here. Oh gosh. Yeah, see some of the suspension parts over here. Wait. Let's see? Where's the Drive ten tensor belt is 100%. Well, everything looks freaking 100% on this engine. Could this be? Could we have for once bought something worthwhile? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly see what else we bought. We bought this ECU over here. Let's see. So we're gonna take it max RPM to 10,000 RPMs. This engine is gonna pop. This is gonna go boop. <laughs> All right, so now that we have got that, let's see what else we bought. Oh, we got we got this let's quickly lift the car up close lift the car up okay, maybe we're just gonna lift it up some more okay um oh, how the hell are we gonna get underneath the car game okay let's quickly do this there we go so yeah this car is rear wheel drive as you guys can see from the gearbox there's nothing going to the front wheels but there's no diff we're gonna place glad to see this thing placed in we don't have any shafts though, but I think it plays the right call. 
This part cannot be mounted to the vehicle. Okay. Give me a moment. Let's quickly really see if we go back. Engine. Um, hmm. Drive line. Drive train. Okay, I don't see any gearbox things going towards the side. So what we can do is... These are all for the WAG. So let's get ourselves one of these. I'm gonna say yes. Order parts. Yes. Okay, I just want to quickly see the suspension. So here's the subframes. That are, oh, so it was a subframe. And I called it a subframe earlier. Thing I might have. So here's all the suspension stuff. The knuckle and everything. So we're gonna have to come over here. The lower control arms, the upper control arms. Okay, so what are these? Complete shock. So yes, this is the stuff I want to buy. I want to get myself like good coil overs so that we can maybe like adjust them, adjust the height. So see, here's some bags. Pretty cool though. Break this. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, break calipers. Okay, so here we've got what is this? Your motor, right? 60 millimeters, one piston. These have got four pistons. So we're gonna buy one, two, three, four. Are we gonna make them red? Oh gosh. Everything on this freaking car is gonna be red. That's not good. Okay, add to cart. Brake calibers, rims, tires, miscellaneous. Oh, there we go, there we go. So these are CV shafts. I'm not sure. Steering rack. Okay. We're gonna have to buy. This is the left, this is the right. We're gonna have to buy them. And then also, we got ourselves the gearbox. So let's quickly go all the way back. Okay. Where is our shafts? Mount part. There we go. Wait. It's it's not <laughs> all right. It's it's not connected, uh, but obviously this game still needs a bit of work because we've got like wider tires on and stuff. How are we gonna do this? I I'm wondering if it, how it's gonna like work or something, you know. So then what we're gonna quickly do is we're gonna go to this gearbox. We're gonna quickly say remove it. Remove coexisting parts for the cars lift incorrectly. Change the position. We gotta take it further up. Cars lift incorrectly. Okay, you gotta take it further up. Jeez. Further up? Okay, it's at max now. Okay, maybe it's gonna be on the floor. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. We're at the inside of the car now. Okay, let's keep on going down. Can't see crap now, but it's okay. Um, we're quickly gonna do this. Chassis. Hopefully we can see the gearbox over here. The car is lift is set incorrectly. Okay, this is not good. I think for us to get this gearbox out, radiator tube. Ooh. Yeah, I think for us to get this gearbox out, we're most probably gonna have to take the engine out. And I don't know if I'm looking forward for that. That's gonna be so much freaking work maybe we can just leave that stuff as is for now and then just deal with it later because for me to take out the entire engine is not a certainty that it is gonna work um let me just do this let's see i'm like clicking buttons to see if i can connect to this engine stand nothing is freaking happening come on game all right maybe maybe we don't have the garage tools for it painting Painting, garage tools. Okay, we got the lift, obviously. Color. Oh, we can change oh the amount we want. Um okay, even though all of these stuff are is here, it doesn't mean anything. It is nothing that we can buy. I think audio oh what? This is freaking cool. You can have some oomph oomph in the car. <laughs> a capacitor. Um this is freaking amazing. Interior gear knobs body elements hood trunks okay so i think what we're gonna do now is we're quickly gonna get ourselves some brake discs so these are 256 by 20 256, 256 by 20 uh these are slotted and curved out so let's quickly have a look at this 256 these are just vented ones as you can see it's solids but they're vented these are 300 millimeters so they're a bit bigger though Let's look at these ones. They only got the cutouts. And this one, does it have the dots as well? There we go. So this just technically helps with heat. As you all know, between the brake and the brake um, disc, there's heat being built up. So these curves actually just break that filter of heat, if, if it makes sense. Oh, wait. We can even change that color. Okay, no, thank you. You're going to get four of these bad babies over here. 
Uh, and then also we're gonna quickly go to the shocks. I think what we're gonna do is these are just shock absorbers, shock absorber struts. I think we're gonna move over to shock absorbers, and I, I wonder if they say drag length 20 millimeters. Bump 3-1, rebound 800. I'm not sure what the bump and rebound is. I've never looked into shocks yet. Um, so stroke length, 20 millimeter. Um, I don't even know what we're looking for, but I'm looking for something. 130. Okay, so I think the higher we go up, probably the better. All of them are the same price. This is just like a... Right, okay. I think what we're going to do, I don't know if we're using shocks in the front and the back. But we're gonna get four of these. Add. Okay, and then I think for now we're gonna leave it. So let's quickly sign out. We're gonna say yes. Okay, close this up. Yeah, then we gotta quickly go and take the oh take the car up. So now we're gonna quickly do the suspension. I don't think we can remove the suspension. Let's quickly see, can I? Oh we can? Oh what? Okay, but also now that I think about it. We're going to remove the, the wheels anyway because we're going to take the brake calibers and stuff off. This freaking pistons and stuff. Looks like it's the right stuff. Let's quickly go down here. Um, this is the 300 mil that we just took off. No freaking way. We just bought the same stuff. Okay, so here's the Yamoto 50 millimeter four piston. Oh my gosh, guys. We literally just bought the same stuff. But it's good to see that we actually did that. So... These are the shock absorbers we have on currently. We're going to say mount, place. Yeah, I wonder. Lower control arm. I wonder how we can maybe. Let's see, tuning. Let's see, maybe there's a way. Spring rate. I'm not sure. I really got to look into the spring length. Okay, so if we drop it, which I assume is this. Oh, okay. So I think we have dropped the car now. I'm gonna quickly go mechanic. We're gonna go over here, mount parts. Oh, first gotta do the brake disc. I was ready to put a wheel on. Mount, don't forget to bleed it, buddy. We're gonna go to this one, mount place. Uh, this one over here, we're gonna say sell. Yes. Now for the wheel. Now for the tire, place. We could drop the car. Okay, it's not that far down, though. I think what we'll do is we'll quickly come back later and just check everything out. We're going to go to mechanic. We're just going to change this absorber over here. Oh, we got to lift the car up. Sorry. Sorry, game. Okay, there we go. One is out. We're going to go and say sell. Yes, we're going to take this one. Mount part. Place. Okay, then we're going to go say tuning. Take the spring length. We're going to make it shorter. There we go. So it actually does pull it up. But I think only once it's like fully on the ground or something. We'll be able to see properly. Let's quickly go over here. Can I get like in underneath? Okay, so we're going to say mechanic. Okay, there we go. Let this one mount. Okay, so this is not going to work. Which means this is a shock absorber. But it looks a bit different though. Let's please just go back over here. I'm still like learning with all this stuff as well. I'm trying to see what we should get or not get. Okay, so now I see these ones, they are smaller. So obviously they're for the back then. So see, we got yellow ones over here. The prices are exactly the same. We're just going to take these two. Sign out. Thank you. Close this up. We're going to quickly say these two. Come on. Sell. Yes. Sell. Yes. We got so much stuff to sell now. Yes. Yes. Sorry, I just want to quickly sell it, and then I do know for a fact. We've got all of these things ticked off, you know? Um, there we go. Selling this one. Selling this one. We also might as well sell this one. And then on part, place, tuning. Let's see if I can click here. So we're going to drop it all the way as well. Okay, so now the wheel actually went freaking straight. Damn, bro, we should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, we're going to quickly go here. Remove it. Sell it. Yes. Mount part. Oh, where, where is it? I think it's right here below us. Oh, there it is. And then tuning. Grab this one. Make it as low as we can. Perfecto. Okay, so we're quickly going to zoom back. Our wheels are almost finally freaking straight. 
I'm just not happy with the front ones. It's like they're cambered in a. Pos no, this is a. Is this a positive or negative? I kind of forgot now. I think this is a positive, and then inside is negative, or is the other way around. Which is either way we're gonna go. So we've got everything in. I just want to see quickly. Maybe we get a. We can't put that in yet. We have got our gearbox. We got all of this stuff. I think just for the fact of us quickly. Oh, we got to drop the lift. For us to get this thing to the dyno, I think let's just quickly drop it a bit. We're gonna say mount this part of a year. We just gotta get the radiator on place. We gotta get the intercooler on place. So now this is where I'm wondering how does the piping system work? Like, do we gotta do this? And the thing that makes it even more difficult is we got twin turbos. So what do we do? Do we like to make this turbo and this turbo together with a T flange or something and put it in this pipe, take this pipe all the way up to this throttle body. So I'm a bit like, I'm not 100% sure, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the freaking diner room. We're gonna see what you can do. Oh, we got, a, we got some knocking sounds. freaking unrealistic bro we just hit 713 freaking horsepower that's almost a thousand horsepower okay this engine <laughs> it didn't sound good this engine was nearly breaking the entire time sorry i think we want to go back that rumbling sound of this exhaust oh my word guys i can't believe that just happened 713 horsepower we even got an achievement for 500 and plus horsepower well i'm pretty happy with this we freaking did really good 2.6 bar okay so what i want to quickly do is sorry guys i just want to quick wait wait where, oh, there's my intro because like where did my intercooler go i just really want to remove all of this stuff i want to get myself a good thumbnail real quick so we're just gonna grab something like this i think oh we just press tab and then like zoom out Right, there we go. Oh, this is going to be a good thumbnail, okay? So we're going to quickly assemble this entire motor. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take her out to the road and just see. I mean, there is probably still a few different stuff we can do to it. Um, we got to do the bumper then. Place. We can do the headlights. Place. Wait, why? Oh, these are other headlights. Let me just quickly remove this one and see... Wait, okay, they're the same. So 100%, 100%, 100% fell. Yes. Okay, but I don't know why these two are still here. Sell, yes. Sell, yes. Sell. Are we getting cash for this? Where's my cash? Up here, 694. We sell, we get 2005. Oh, we're actually getting cash for this. Sell, yes. Sell, yes. We got like unlimited freaking cash over here. Oh, we even got our bumper and stuff. Okay, we're gonna quickly go say place. Um, we're gonna put the hood on as well for some aerodynamics. Okay, so I'm still gonna work on the damping force and everything. I can see the rear wheel is very lower. The front is not too bad. I think the car in general is a little bit lower. She looks freaking amazing if you ask me. I did notice one problem now. We have never put on a uh, place the... Oh, we did. We did place the spacers on. I think we gotta get a little bit bigger spacers for the wheels. What do you guys think? So let's just quickly maybe take the car up. Sorry, I know I'm going back and forth, back and forth, but everything I'm doing is for good cause. We're going to quickly just zoom into this. This is a wheel spacer. I'm just interested to see the size. It's a 30 mil. Okay, so let's quickly go back. Places. There we go. Suspension. Uh, is it miscellaneous? There we go. I think these are the ones we have. 30 mil. So we're going to go to 50 mil by 2 actually stupid of me i could have just added the quantity okay we're gonna go quickly over here take mount place okay we're gonna do the one wheel quick and then for the tire place okay let's have a look now okay that doesn't look too bad i think we should actually go a little bit wider let's just quickly drop it and see okay so yeah we're gonna have to go wider yeah let's go a little bit wider Alright, so there we go. This is how it looks aligned. We're gonna quickly drop it. 
There we go. Okay, it's not going right. I think that the suspension problem might not be 100% fixed yet. Uh, so we're quickly going to go over here. We're going to do this one as well. Um, actually really far away from the car. Why? I've got no freaking idea. There it is. Mount, place. We go to the tire, place. Well, that's the mag and in the tire, place. There we go. All right. So I think that this 350Z is about complete. I mean, maybe what I will do is I'll also just work a little bit on the interior. I think the interior looks fine. I don't think there's much we have to do. So I think for now, let's drop her. Oh my gosh. Look at this. She's freaking sexy, guys. Okay. Places. Uh, no, no, no. We want to go to the track. We want to go drag racing. Um, this is like one big airfield where we can drag race. And then maybe we should go there. We, we haven't been with you guys there yet. Well, in this series so far since I started over. Alright, so there we go. Okay, so I think we, we, we have someone over here to our left. Oh, wow. This sounds pretty good. Okay, we're almost there. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, press return. I just want to see. Okay. Oh, where's the car? Okay, press return. Is that the return button? Yeah, let's press escape then. Oh, I just pressed enter. Did that work? Oh, your time. Okay, there we go. But where's my opponent? Okay, we didn't get an opponent, but let's see. Oh, shit! We're check those flames. We're actually pulling to the right now. Oh, there we go. We're going. No, we're, we're going a bit to the right. How much are we? 220 kilometers per hour. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're taking out this 250. Oh, oh we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. This thing is crazy. She's looking good. So I don't know why I never got someone to race with me. Also, what I gotta do is thank goodness I just saw it now. We gotta save the game. I've done so much to this poor car. So we're gonna go again, but we're gonna go to the actual drag racing map. I don't know why it's so dark. Oh, okay, we can just press G. Okay, we gotta what the heck? This is an old car 435 horsepower. See how our horsepower is different over here? I don't care. We're just gonna take it on. Okay. Are we gonna give it like a head start? Okay, go, go, go. Oh, oh we gave it two big head start, guys. Two big head start. Yeah, that's a bummer. <laughs> Alright, the car wasn't as fast as I thought. Sorry, I just wanna take the volume a bit more down. I can think that these cars are screaming in your ears. Uh, okay, we're gonna try this again. Sorry, I gave that guy way. I almost gave him like a freaking quarter to half track. We got another 350 pulling up, so for 52 and 621. Okay. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. And adios. Wow, we're freaking leaving him. That is crazy, dude. Okay. I'm truly happy with this car. This car is making really good numbers. So, we're gonna go and return to the lobby. So, now I've been thinking like, after I complete this car, what am I gonna do? So, I actually just came across uh, thinking that maybe I should build another car for you guys. What do you guys think? Would you guys like to see me tune a different car and just see how strong I can get it? I just wanna see something. Tuning. This is the adjustment alignment. Oh, wait, 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 did we just do what I think we did? Okay, that's 350. We're gonna make it 330. How's the alignment now? There we go. Okay, that's fine. Guys, we just freaking fixed 330. We just fixed the alignment. Oh yeah, that looks good. And let's quickly set it down. 
again? Oh my word, that is so much better! Let's just quickly check the back. Okay, you see, now it's in the air, so, but it's aligned, so that's all that matters. I'm not really too concerned then. So it's kind of cool, we can even adjust the steering rack. Okay, so to end this video, we're gonna do one more drag race, just to see how the car pulls. Uh, oh, we can't race? Damn it, it's too late. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait for the next day, obviously then. So yes, I think we have done so much on this game. I'm actually really happy with this car. What I'll do is, I'll just maybe go to the uh, places and get a few stickers for this car. You know, just to make it look pretty good. And then yeah, if I do, if you guys want to see another series of me uh, actually playing this game. Oh wow, now now the car, the car is very high. It's like it's on the lift almost. So yeah, anyway, I think, yeah, what I'm going to do is, um, ooh, maybe I can get a better thumbnail in here. So yeah, sorry guys, I'm going to put on a few stickers and stuff. If you guys want to see me tune a different car, let me know in the comments below so I can do it. And also I'll show you guys with all my stickers and stuff. I think this game, look, well, this car looks freaking amazing. I love the exhaust tips. I think once the game actually allows us to do more, I will always come back and like tune this car. Like every update, they add new things and I'll just come back and add the updates, add the updates, add the updates to this car until this car is on its own next level. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a big like. I mean, just freaking hit your phone against the table, you know? <laughs> if you guys would love to support the channel, uh, especially and help me try to get to 10,000 subs before the end of this year, make sure to hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. If you want to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you want to see one of my most recent videos, hit the icon on the right, and I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, as always, peace out.